All right, guys, thank you for coming to the CWL Draft 2021 this year. And um, we have nine players today. Only eight will be selected. So if you're not drafted, uh, Parnes, Devin, let's just keep it down, all right? Thank you, guys. As a coach of the Sons of Pitches, and before I announce my uh, draft pick, I'd like to say thank you to, uh, you know, everyone who's let me get here, you know, another year of whiffs. You know, I'm always grateful for that, but I'm never satisfied. I'm always trying to win another MVP, another World Series, you know. And today I'm here to draft my team to do that for me. And uh, with the first overall pick, I'm going to select Andrew Oppenheimer. Even though Andrew was a postseason hero for the Bombers in 2020, he is classified as a rookie this year because he never played in the regular season. On the mound, Oppenheimer has lights out stuff with a nice curveball to counteract it. At the plate, he's a nice contact swing and is known for getting hits in big moments. He's exactly what the team needs and will fit in great as someone who can dominate on the mound and still put up some good numbers at the plate. I'd like to first off thank everybody who's gotten me the situation, um, got me into the league for supporting me this whole way. Never would I have thought that I would go first round and win a World Series, so thank you. <laughs> I'd like to begin by thanking God for this opportunity to compete in this wonderful league. The talent in this draft is like no other, and I'm so excited to see what this class can produce. With that, the Backyard Bombers would like to select Cameron Mann. Cam has always been a good hitter and a good player overall, but it always comes down to his availability, and due to his other careers, he has not played a lot in the past few seasons. In the field, he's either on or off. He could miss the simplest plays one day and make diving plays the next. He is good at hitting to all parts of the field, but the Bombers will be looking for him to be the ace of the staff. However, he doesn't have a lot of experience on the mound. I would like to thank my family for this opportunity. Um, I never thought I'd be here today. Um, I'm speechless right now, so <laughs> that's all I really have to say. First of all, I'm very thankful to be the commissioner of this beautiful league. Beautiful people, and you know, just want to come out here and already compete in 2021. I can't wait. Can't wait for opening day. But in that case, um, my draft pick is not here right now. We'll be selecting BC Farnan. Farnan is classified as a rookie this year, but he has played in the league in the past as a fill-in for the Compo Cougars in past years. He has a powerful swing from the left side and will hit a ton of home runs. He isn't the greatest fielder, but he definitely makes up for it with the bat. However, he is not very fleet of foot and offers practically nothing on the mound, but the team is only really looking for that powerful bat. Hello, uh, CWL. I'm very honored to be selected as the third overall pick. Um, I've always wanted to be a dominant dinger, and I've dreamed about that this offseason, but yesterday reality came true, and very blessed. Go Dingers. Hello, I'm uh, Sam Petrosino, GM of the Compo Cougars. I'm going to keep it short. Just going to say, no one has had a uh, as great of a franchise as the Compo Cougars have had over the years. So with that, f with the fourth pick of the CWBL draft, I'll take uh, Jake the Snake Futterman. Snake has been playing for all five years the league has been around, four of them with the Dingers and one with the Cougars where they won the 2018 World Series. He has insane amounts of power and hits the ball all over the field very hard. He isn't the greatest in the field, however, he can come in and throw a few innings if needed. He looks to reunite with Sam from the 2018 World Series team and make it there again.
So, firstly, I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and especially Uncle Jamal himself. He raised me a good person I am, and a beautiful football player I am today. Thank you. Thank you. With the fifth pick of the CWL draft, the Cabo Cougars will select Jack Goldman. Goldie is the founder of CWBL and has had some great seasons in the past. However, in 2020, he took a big step back. He suffered a terrible eye injury, almost leaving him blind in the right eye. He hopes to regain sight by early August, so for the Cougars, he will be a postseason investment. When he's healthy, he can be a very good contact hitter and a good backup arm for Sam on the mound. However, he has never really been a great fielder. I would like to thank Coach Sam, Coach Jakku for this opportunity. Have you play with Foot, Snake, have you play with Sam. It's going to be a great team. Combo Cougs is going to be absolutely insane this year. Go Cougs. Thank you. Backyard Bombers would like to select Devin Cast. There is no in game film on Devin, but he has been around the league for the past few years. He isn't great on the mound or in the field, and last year he was released by the Bombers before the postseason. I would like to thank. All the study skills roster, they really built me to be the person I am today, the whiff player. Um, yeah. Uh, go, go Bombers! With the seventh pick, the 2020 draft, I select Nikki Porzio. He's also not here. Nikki is a rookie this year and has not been around the league in the past. However, he does play baseball, so the Dingers hope he can bring those skills over to wiffle ball. So this pick was unexpected. I didn't really think it'd be down to these two players, two heartful guys who really want to be in the league, you know, both dedicated and, you know, love to see that, but only one of them's going to be on the sense of pitches, so... With the last pick of the draft, sons of pitches select Andy Cerrito. I'm truly honored to be picked. This is my first year playing wiffle ball, so it really is amazing that uh, the sons of pitches took a chance on me. I really appreciate that. Uh, first, I want to thank the only one, man upstairs, God, who guided me to this path, helped me become the best wiffle ball player I can be, and uh, I think he'll guide me to develop into uh, what Kooks wants me. I want to thank my family for you know always helping me. You know my dad out in the yard helping me hit f uh, piss missiles. You know, uh, and uh, great work. I don't have much else to say. Go pitches. We will now be taking questions for the coaches and me. Blind one in the back. No, I'm calling on the people. Did you say blind one in the back? Golden. All right, this is for the Bombers coach. Uh, what are you thinking? <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> hey, Andy. I have a question for the coach of Cougars. Uh, what, are your, what is your thoughts on Goldie's batting eye? What? What are your thoughts on Goldie's batting eye? I was just thinking, once that eye gets like reconstructed and everything, I think we got a real, we got, we got real talent right there. Okay. And I'm not, I can't rely on someone who I don't know if he can really like run the bases that well, swing the bat that well, pitch that well. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually why I didn't take him either. Devin! Oh, sorry, I have a question. What, what, what would make you pick such a sexy person? Uh, Devin, you're, uh, I, I'll, answer you, I'll answer for you, Alex. I'll answer for you. I don't think you're playing a game this year. No, no. Camp. How do you feel about having a player on your team who can't even make eye contact with you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's it. I'm so, I mean, what do you mean? I'm so f***ing. <laughs> Alright, that's so it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Right. Parts, one more part. Hold on, hold on. I'll let you address that question, actually. I know, uh, go prove everyone wrong. He's an underdog. Yes, yes. 
Hi. Um, I have a question for the Sons of Pitches coach. Yeah. Do you already have Xbox Game Pass, or do you want a straight up digital coach for the store? Uh, yeah, I'm just into the McFlurry deck for every game. McFlurry again. And you buy your way in. That's how it works. <laughs> so, Cam, what role will Aiden Parnes take in this league? Um, we're we're looking He'll into not, but man. hopefully he can get back into the swings of things next year. He's oh, laughing because he thinks wait, we're joking. Yes, Aiden. Coach of the Cougars. Uh, I actually. Did you money to draft me and you didn't, so can I get some of that back? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not six, it was Madden coins too. I said $65, you said $5. And then last night I texted you, I don't have a $5 bill, can I give you $60 said, and you'll still I draft said, me? And you said yes. Some of the pictures, I know they sell $40. I will sue S your ass. Any further question? Don't talk to you, it's irrelevant. Irrelevant? Uh, the last we'll pick. We'll, I'll, I'll see you in the World Series. Okay. No. Um, <laughs> you want that fing out of the question? Stand the fing up, but keep your distance because I'm not trying to. I'm trying to get my air. <laughs> you know, um, me and my first overall pick, we're really just going to be running the team. The other guy, you know, just a role player, you know, trying to help out the team any way he can. You know, he knows his role, I think. He's grateful to be on the team. He's dedicated, and that's what we really like in the Sons of Pictures facility. Thank you, thank you. You know, I was just thinking postseason, having Goldie as a number, like, two, number three pitcher, I think that's really important for us to have because last year I kind of lacked that. But, uh, you know. We're just going this season with Thank you, coach. Mindset. Thank you, coach. Coach, 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 coach. Yeah, Devin's a great player. We didn't have a slot from last year, but really hoping the improvements we made over the winter will help him perform this year. Thank you, coach. <laughs> Thank you. Coach, coach, coach. Well, I'm taking two rookies this year. We've seen Farn in the past, you know. He's only had like a few games that we've really seen him shine in, but I think those are the games we're going to need out of him. And those are yes, the games and um, adding on to that, how is, um, you know, his acceptance rate and his playing time, how is that really going to affect the team? Um... We need him there, and if he's not there, then because we don't plan on Nikki being there, but if Nikki is there, we'll toss him in there. But um, yeah, we need him there, and that's going to be a big step forward. Yes, coach, 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 coach. coach. That will conclude the 2021 draft. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today.